and Hindustan Zinc. And we were, we've been discussing this, both going in opposite directions as expected, Nigel. Well, that's right. You know, I would be surprised actually if Hindustan Zinc held on because the float in the market is only 2 to 3 percent odd. But Hindustan Zinc is under pressure. Mm -hmm. There are a couple of factors that played out. Results were in line. They declared a dividend of close to around 13 rupees, which works out around 49 and rupees 50 paise for the year itself. So that was the only piece of good news. Then Vedanta is going to be, uh, you know, uh, selling its Zing International business to Hindustan Zing for close to three billion dollars. Out of that, 80% comes, you know, the minute it's uh, it's approved. Valuation-wise, well, it's going to be done at around 10 times EV per bit, which is very high. Hindustan Zinc has net cash of around 11, 12,000 crores. Out. All of them will go into this, uh, uh, you know, acquisition. And it's a related party transaction, so it explains why Hindustan Zinc is under pressure. It's good for Vedanta. They're going to be getting dividend, closer to 3,500 crores odd. They're also going to be getting closer to $3 billion for that international zinc asset, so good news for them. And also, in addition to this, Hindustan Zinc from now on will be paying 2% as uh, you know, a brand fee to the promoter entity. So Vedanta gets some more money. CLSA, they have an underperformed rating, target price of around 295, that's on Vedanta. While Investec as well as Nuvama, both of them have downgraded the stock, that is Hindustan Zing. Explain why that stock is under pressure, down 8%. Okay, big moves coming in on the downside for Hindustan Zing. By the way, ICICI Bank ahead of its numbers tomorrow is in the green right.